you're welcome let's see how we're going to solve this problem here this is olympiad problem i believe some of you might be looking for the obvious uh, solution so therefore i want to tell you that uh, there's nothing like obvious here so we just have to stay calm and see how we're going to solve this so now i'm going to translate this equation like this x to power x equals i will split this as 3 to power x multiplied by 3 to power 1 that is from the law of indices so from there I can divide through by 3 to power x, divide through by 3 to power x, so which this implies that uh, this left hand side I can write this as x over 3 to power x because the two of them are having the power x, so I decided to take the power x outside so that they are going to be sharing it. Then equals, so 3x we cancel this 3x, we're so going to have 3. So now from here now, so i want to bring down this x so what can i do to that to bring the s i'm going to introduce a line to the both sides of what of the equation this is x here equals three so now what i'm going to do is that this x is coming down we have x ln x over three then equals what equals ln of three ln will be here we have ln of three so now from there so uh, from here now we're going to introduce what we call Lambert Lambert W function. Okay, so that is what we are going to be using to get or to get the value of x. So therefore, uh, we have the Lambert W function to be in this form where you have W A E A. So this will give us what this will give us A. So that is when you operate this Lambert, you take the Lambert function of this, you're going to have A. You know why when you see that a is the coefficient of e and a still become the what we become the power of e so it will certainly give us the uh, value so therefore we are going to be we are going to look at how we can translate this here in this form okay now from there what we're going to do is that recall that from log reading if we have e lean a this will give us what a because this e and lin they are inverse to each other this we cancel this then we have what we have a so the same thing according to what we have up here i want to change this x so that it will be in form of this so the at x is going to be e lin x you know it's going to give us x so therefore where i see x here i will replace it by e lin x okay so therefore that's going to give me i will bring lin x over 3 first okay then i will take this e lean x equals lean what lean 3 so sorry about that so this is what i have i take lean x over 3 first then multiply by e lean x that is what we have up there okay here i have x here that x is as done to e lean x and the one that is here i brought it forward to be here then equals what ln of three that is here so this is it here now right so from there so the next thing we are going to do is that so we know we are trying to translate this equation so that it will be in this form so we look at the left hand side of this equation so does it resemble this yes because we have e here but there's something missing the something missing here is that the power the coefficient of e is ln of x over 3 and the power is ln of x so therefore we need this power of e to be ln of x over 3 the same way we have here so what we are going to do is that we are going to multiply both sides of the equation by this e ln of x multiplied by e minus ln of 3 okay so minus ln of 3 we're going to have this so when you have that so we have ln of 3 e minus ln of 3 okay to the both side of the equation so the reason why we do that you're going to see now we have ln of x over 3 e now here from the law of indices we have e e here so therefore this is going to be ln of x the power will be subtracted i'll be added then we're going to have minus ln of 3 equals here we have ln of 3 e so this minus can go up there you have 3 minus 1 
so now from here we have e and lin they are inverse of each other so now this right hand side can be ln of 3 then divided by because this 3 raised to the power 1 is same thing as 1 over 3 okay so it's going to be ln of 3 over 3 that is the right hand side then we have this to be ln of x over 3 e then this one also will be ln of from the law of logarithm so this is going to be x over 3 because we have negative here so this will be x over 3 so as you can see now we have ln of x over 3 ln of x over 3 so what we are going to do is that we are going to take the uh, w function which is the Lambert's function of this uh, both side of the equation so therefore this is going to be ln of x over 3 then equals we have w ln of 3 over what over 3 are you following so we move for that so now from here we have ln of s over 3 equals w ln of 3 over 3 so we are looking for x here. what we can do is to get rid of ln is to introduce e to the both side e ln of what x over 3 equals e ln of 3 over what over 3 so that's what we're going to do so this we cancel this we have x over 3 equals e w ln of 3 over what over 3 so now from here so what do you think we are going to do here uh, we can actually have our x to be equals multiplying both sides by 3 okay this will be 3 e w ln of 3 over what over 3 then this we cancel this so we have x to be equal to this okay so we can leave our answer like this okay we can leave our answer like this to be x equals 3 e to power w ln of 3 but if you want to get rid of this e let's say we don't want to see this e anymore so it's very simple so what you are going to do is that whenever you have e w of alpha like this okay this is going to be alpha that is the function inside this divided by what divided by w alpha so that is the idea so we're going to use the idea here we have x equals so we have 3 here right we have 3 we have 3 there so it is going to be 3 then this e we want to change it to be look in this form so now to look in this form we're going to see that this alpha will take charge of whatever we have here multiply by ln let me use dot multiply by ln of 3 over 3 okay then divide that by w ln of 3 over, over 3 so now from here you can see that this 3 we cancel this 3 here so we have x to be equals ln of 3 over w ln of 3 over 3 so that is what that is the uh, solution and uh, we have the approximate value of x to be equals 3.95937 so that is the approximate value of x and that is the end of the class if you find the class very interesting so please uh, subscribe to our youtube channel if you have not done that before hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload new content thank you so much for watching share this class to your colleagues so they can also benefit from it bye bye